Okay, here goes another quick news video because something big has just dropped. Henry Cavill is leaving The Witcher show on Netflix after season 3. That one is coming next summer, but afterwards he will be replaced by Liam Hemsworth. And that must be a big hit for the show. Ever since season 1, actually even prior to that, people have been all over Henry Cavill and they really liked him as Geralt of Rivia. I must say I personally was not terribly excited for his role at first, but when the show came out and especially as it progressed into season 2, it was really obvious that he is the most passionate member of the cast and he grew on me. And now seeing him go gives me even less faith in the future of the show. I suppose the big question is why did he decide to leave, considering how excited he seemed to play Geralt? It seems there are two theories, and potentially both could be true. One is so that he could devote himself to other big roles, such as Superman, and the other is because he did not see eye to eye with the creators of the show. Now the second one seems more conspiratorial, but there are reasons to believe that it may be true. Henry Cavill has said in the past that he loves the books and he would like the show to stay true to them. And it hasn't. Especially with season 2, and it may even be worse in 3, we shall see next year. But it's clear that Netflix have been straying further and further away from the source material. In fact, there was talk recently about some of the writers and producers of the show actively disliking The Witcher books and games. And if true, I can see how that might turn Henry Cavill away from the project. As I said, he's been quite vocal about his passion for the Witcher books and Witcher games, uh, and his excitement to be able to play Geralt, and if he suddenly found himself surrounded by people who felt the opposite way, I guess I understand why he no longer wished to be part of it. In fact, there were some signs of potential creative differences even within Season 2. Those of you who watched my reviews might remember that I couldn't quite wrap my mind around the death scene of Roach. Spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, but apparently, it was initially supposed to be taken a little less seriously. But Henry Cavill insisted on doing it his way. And they did. However, his version makes a reference to something which Netflix removed from the story earlier on specifically the sodden memorial scene from the books, where Geralt is reading the names, hoping not to see Yennefer among them, and his encounter with this entity that he refers to in the show. It's a great moment in the books, and a great idea by Henry Cavill to tie Roach's death to that, but it just doesn't work very well because they decided to remove the thing that he was referring to, and perhaps he wasn't very thrilled by Netflix's decision, to change the original story. In fact, I'm now a little more curious to watch season 3 just to see if I can spot any more of these hints of disagreement. Henry Cavill was, in my opinion, the best part of season 2. That may have been amplified by the fact that a lot of the rest was pretty bad. And overall, I do think season 2 was worse than season 1. But it's also because Henry Cavill was trying and it showed. Not sure how season 3 will be, but based on their current direction and the fact that Henry Cavill might have actually left because of things that happened in season 3, my hopes for it are not high. And afterwards, going forward without Henry, I think the future of the show looks even worse. So tell me how you feel about all this. If you know about any more specifics surrounding Netflix's opinion on The Witcher games and books, or the true reason behind Henry's departure, feel free to share them in the comments. And I don't think I have any more to say. It is sad news and I might genuinely not watch season 4 at this point. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support and until the next video, which will hopefully be another episode of the Details Missed series, stay tuned and be good.